All right, so here is the Harbor Freight wood tool chest that I have painted and uh, made a few small modifications uh, to um, function as a large stationary knife, pocket knife uh, storage chest. So, um, they're right now, uh, Harbor Freight's got them uh, on a price drop down to $80 which is one hell of a good deal so if you can do the $80 um, and this is a good solution for you for you know a more I mean it is still a tool chest that you can pick up and move but like if you put a uh, hundred plus knives in it and when close to 200 knives and uh, this this thing gets pretty heavy so it's more of a stationary type uh, knife storage solution but um, yeah it has has a, the locking uh, front lid that covers up all the drawers um, so you can store however you want to store based off of how many knives I when I first got this thing I was able to lay my knives in here all flat nicely flat and uh, <laughs> and as one layer and as you can see they've just started piling and piling I might have to go to the uh, to the point of laying them up uh, <laughs> <laughs> like this and trying to squeeze them all in that way <laughs> because uh, they're definitely getting overstuffed um, heavily filled so as you can see I've got you know some flashlights and little tools and doodads and gizmos and gadgets and you know lighters and other things up in these drawers too but uh, for the most part this thing is like 95 percent knives and leather slips and stuff but uh, they're, they're all felt lined which makes it great and with this green felt so it's uh, fairly well padded when you buy it it actually first comes it's got uh, these little wooden divider trays that sit down into the uh, sit down in the these two lower drawers I love that it has these little um, silver knobs it's a nice touch and uh, that's higher quality than what I've seen other things and thank God it wasn't plastic shit but anyways and then you have the top here which is uh, also locked and clasped down with these three clasps so you know in my opinion and then the corners got these guys uh, my opinion at least this one that I purchased very very well built definitely worth the 80 bucks and the quality of the build of the darn thing um, I'm not gonna throw up the dimensions Harbor Freight has that on their website so that's it's pretty easy to, to look so um, it did have a handle a, and I felt like the handle on the top here was kind of cheesy kind of dinky uh, I just it wasn't the greatest quality uh, of handles um, so and because I determined when I bought this that it was going to be a more permanent um, <clears throat> storage chest and just sit here on top of this small little storage cabinet that I have that I picked up um, off of somebody uh, I decided to get rid of the damn handle and I just covered up those holes because uh, they're pretty decent sized holes with uh, some little just wooden uh, squares uh, that I painted accented in, in a, like a bronze paint spray paint and then I did this uh, rustic dark uh, off black kind of uh, paint on the main part and then I did the drawers uh, in a dark gray and so uh, just mainly just to make the color of it go with the color of this and I mean I just I'm not a huge fan of the almond colored natural wood you know that yellowish orangish uh, wood color that's just not my style everything in my room is dark all the furniture pieces everything's dark mostly black 
Um, so in the top here, I've got my fixed blades. Uh, keep all the blades out of the sheaths uh, when they're stored, and I try to and I keep some silicone packets in here. Again, they keep down on uh, rust, uh, surface rust on the knives. I got a few other things in here too, but uh, for the most part, that's this is where I keep the uh, fixed blades. Up here is a what was and will come with a uh, diamond uh, shaped uh, mirror, small little mirror, glass mirror. Uh, I I don't didn't care because I was never going to leave this open, so I didn't care to have that mirror there, and I just didn't want while I was getting knives and stuff in and out of this to possibly accidentally hit that mirror. Um, again, there's the the green felt. So I just, uh, again, got rid of the mirror and just put um, some thin wood and uh, painted it that same bronzish, goldish bronze color. And so that's, that's that. That's what I did there. Uh, I think I, it can definitely hold somewhere close to 200 knives is what I prob possibly probably have in there. Shh. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> but yeah, it can fit a lot. And it ends up being a lot of weight. Um, I made this rack for the cowboy hats. I got that above there. That's my uh, ammo locker and other stuff in there. And then I've got picked up this EDC, this cabinet. Uh, two drawers on the top and then uh, open thing cabinet. So in here I keep... Uh, EDC stuff, some of my larger folders just laying on the top, microfiber cloth, some boxes, uh, stickers, um, what have you. Um, this one's got, there, there's the stickers, uh, some of my uh, boxes from the Olight knives and other random stuff, maybe some pew pews. <clears throat> and then this bottom cabinet actually locks which is cool and I made this little stand uh, drilled out the holes uh, for my smaller handheld Olight flashlights and uh, knife maintenance stuff in there some uh, camera cases and stuff in there I added uh, some motion sensing light rechargeable light that I threw up in there that goes on motion sensor and then more EDC stuff just stored up underneath in there. So, knife rolls and, and whatnot. So, that actually locks. So, but uh, then my cigar and smoke trays, I just throw up on top of the top of the lid right there, like so. That's where I keep those. Um, and then underneath the, my bed right here, I've got these three green five gallon storage tote bins and they're filled with all the empty boxes that the knives came in yeah and they're full full I need another one and then I've got one of these Apache uh, cases this is the uh, 5800 that I've got it's got the wheels and rolly wheels and the pull handle um, and this guy has once you get all the padding out of it this has all of my uh, extra uh, pouches all the little pouches that the knives come in along with some cleaning materials my shooting gloves uh, when I bothered with those um, yeah <laughs> just too much stuff you know just way too much stuff but uh, <clears throat> when I when I go to the range um, when I go to a, a, a range or travel and I want to bring multiple firearms and a bunch of knives and stuff uh, I have I have the the knife slips the burrito style slips and whatnot and I put the knives that I want to take in, in those and then throw them in there and uh, with my pew pews and, and other gear and stuff and that's my box that 
all that stuff travels in if I want to bring a bunch of that with me somewhere. So, yeah, that's my uh, EDC corner next to my bed. <laughs> it's all right there. Yep. Yeah, so uh, if you don't have one of these, this is an awesome way to store uh, your knives and EDC gear. You. Again, when I got it, I could only fill it about a third of the way up, and now it's starting to get to the point of overflowing. So, <laughs> I might need to pick up another one for uh, 80 bucks is a steal for this thing. Um, I don't know where the hell I would put the other one, but um, yeah. Alright, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope, uh, hope you liked seeing that. And uh, go pick you up one of these uh, Harbor Freight wood-chested toolboxes. I'm out. Peace.